wow, it's been a while since I've, well, recorded anything. I mean, what? The last thing, last Let's Play I recorded was, like, part of the Sonic Heroes Let's Play, which is now gone, which I will get into in one moment. Um, because all of the stuff I've been uploading lately are just the crappy edits I think of during work. Um, so, yes, this is another... TGC update, my favorite kind of videos to make since it requires no effort. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, so I guess first things first is let's talk about what the fuck's going on, like, um, Persona 4 Golden and Sonic Heroes just disappeared off the face of the earth. Um, one, so, um, I have a few justifications on why for both of them. Um, so let's first start with, let's first start off with what happened to them. One, I deleted them. Um, I deleted them because, uh, well, part of it was, oddly enough, I was looking at, um, Persona 4 Golden, and a lot of it was getting copyright claimed for really weird sections. And it wasn't for, like, it was from, it was from Atlas, um, and a lot of it was getting, um, Wait, no, it, no, 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 it was getting just, it was just music, so, and I think some of it was getting blocked for some reason, I don't remember why. I don't remember the copyright information off the top of my head, because I, I, I barely read that crap anymore, since I don't care. I, I mean, clearly I don't care about the copyright claims, because I, I literally made a edit of Yu Narukami dancing to Big and Chunky from Madagascar 2, so, it, clearly I don't care, unless it's like... Um, a copyright strike or something like that. So I haven't dealt with any of those yet, surprisingly. Um, so yeah, by the way, those edits, those don't mean anything. Like, I know I said, like, oh, I just never have time to record. It's because those edits, I think of those during work, and then I get home, make them in, like, five minutes, and then upload them. So, yeah. It's just it's just crap I think of during work or when I'm or when I wake up and I'm like oh shit that actually sounds like a good idea. <laughs> then I do it and then it turns out it was better than I thought and I upload it. Anyway, um, so first up, let's start with why I deleted Persona 4 Golden since I think that's a little more important since that was like the big epic summer let's play. Um, you know, I did one for Persona. I did Persona 5 last year and you know it was so much fun. And honestly, if I started doing Persona 4 Golden now, I would not get it done by the end of the summer. So why did I stop doing it? I didn't want to anymore. I'm just gonna be frank here. I don't know what happened, but every time I started to do a session of Persona 4 Golden, I put it down. I would start the recording, get about, like, an hour in. Because when I did Persona 5, I had seven-hour sessions. I had legit seven-hour sessions of Persona 5. Um, but when I did Persona 4 Golden, I got, like, two hours in. I'm like, fuck this. I'm done. I don't know why. I mean, to be honest with you, Persona 4 Golden is my least favorite of the Persona series, of the Persona games. Um really being blunt there it is my least favorite i don't really find it as appealing as persona 5 and especially persona 3 persona 3 is favorite no matter what um so i probably should have done a persona 3 let's play uh but no not happening i don't think i'll ever do a persona 3 let's play because jesus christ it requires a lot of grinding and i don't feel like stressing myself out for a hundred percent a max social link run for that i mean i guess i could do it on new game plus like i was doing um so yeah also, I think the other reason, I think another reason for Persona 4 Golden um, not being, um, with being discontinued so f early, I kind of just feel Persona'd out. You know, I mean, in the past couple of years, I've gotten, like, a lot of Persona injected into me, um, with Persona 5 Royal, um, Persona 5 Strikers, Persona 4 Golden be released on PC, um, so I kind of just think, uh, I, I just feel like... I'm, like, done with Persona stuff for right now. You know, until something happens. Because I do know about the whole 35th anniversary of Persona event going on right now where they have, like, the website and they're teasing, like, what, seven announcements, is it, um, that are Persona-related. So I do look forward to some of those. And I hear all the fans speculating on what it is. You know, people are thinking, oh, Persona 3 Remake or um, HD port of Persona 4 or Arena Ultimax Hadouken Kick Me in the Dick. <laughs> and stuff like that. So, I, I do know about that, and I am listening to it, um, you know, on and off, so I, I just 
don't really care that much um, for that kind of stuff right now. So I think that's the other reason is just I'm like done with Persona for the moment because uh, I'm not like sick of RPGs. Hell no, I'm never sick of a ar- good RPG. Like right now, I'm playing Final Fantasy XIII, so um, y- y- I can tell you that. Um, that. That's the other thing too. Um, Persona Four. The other thing is Persona Four Golden just requires a lot of setup work from me. You know, one I gotta set up the parts to. Um, be recorded in terms of length and stuff like that. And also, I just feel that Persona 4 Golden... Okay, if I say Persona 4 Golden one more time, I'm going to kill myself, I swear. <laughs> I, I think the other thing is, like, it requires so much work. Um, because it Persona 4 is very awkward in terms of cutoff time. Like, you know, as you noted, like, if you were watching the original part, some, min- some parts were, like, 30 minutes, while another was an hour. And also, I just think the dungeon structure of Persona of Persona Four Golden, God damn it, sucks ass. <laughs> I don't like the dungeons in Persona Four Golden. Um, you know, with Persona Five, they're at least interesting enough to where I could get away with keeping them on in keeping the footage in. But with Golden, there was so much, you know, chan- there was like random points and where there was story out of nowhere that if I accidentally skipped it. Um, I would feel like an asshole and have to start the recording over. In fact, I had to restart for a recording four separate fucking times for different reasons. So yeah, keep that in mind. <laughs> and it was the second session I did. So yeah, it was not fun. And the other thing was also I kind of screwed up the schedule to the point of no return because I kept playing. And um, yeah, it was to the point of no return. There was just no way I was going to get a one- max social link playthrough at that point. So I was like, screw it, not happening. So I moved on. So I deleted the playthrough. I might come back to Persona 4 another time, maybe as like a live stream series or something. I don't know. I might ju- I might do RPGs as live streams from now on. No more. I don't think. I think Epic Summer Let's Plays are a, are a terrible idea now uh, in retrospect. Persona 5 was an exception, I guess, because... I thought that would I thought it would work out again because you know it worked out in the end honestly you know I start Persona Five I was like okay I got this you know then pandemic hits us like a freaking truck and I'm like well I can't record for two months and then you know I suddenly finish it um, like right before the summer en- like the summer ends and I'm really pr- I'm still proud of that to this day um, so yeah um, so yeah so that's the that's the main problem with Persona Four Golden so that's not happening anytime soon. Uh, that's gonna be put on the back burner, like, way on the back burner, like, if I had a kitchen with 80 burners, it would be, like, on the 80th in the back. Um, so yeah, uh, so Sonic Heroes, that's the other one that got mysteriously deleted. I didn't like it. I, there are several reasons why I didn't like it. One, I'm not a fan of Sonic Heroes. It's my my. It's one of my least favorite Sonic games because of just how monotonous it is. You have to play this. You have to play the same game four freaking times. Sorry. Um. So yeah, I was a little upset with that. Um. And also, I just felt like I approached it in a really boring way. I feel like I should have done something different. Like, I'm. I was thinking about this on the ride here on my drive home. I was thinking like if I were to do Sonic Heroes again this later this year maybe I was thinking of having it divided into four parts like four like having it okay this is gonna sound weird so like you know take your typical work your typical week Monday Tuesday Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays I don't give a shit right now you know there's four stories in Sonic Heroes so like Mondays would be Team Sonic Tuesdays would be Team Dark Wednesdays would be a Team Rose part uh Friday I mean Thursdays would be a Team Chaotix, Fridays would be nothing, and I would keep that pattern going, and then the final story would be straight through. That's what I was thinking of doing now. Um, I might do... I, look, I mean, if I go back to Sonic Heroes anytime soon, which I'm pretty sure will happen, um, I will do that. I might I might do that. I'm just not sure what order to do it in. Like, because that will require me playing through all of their stories in once in... Uh, through their stories... And then uploading them separately. So my commentary would be a little awkward. Like, it wouldn't make sense, I think. But I think if you, like, understood the param, Like, if I maybe made an explanation section right before the first parts of each of them, it would make sense? I don't know. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that, I think that works. Uh, the other reason is, I kept getting... Every time I record, I always get interrupted by some fucking bullshit. 
um, I guess that's the disadvantage of not living on your own, is I get interrupted by something. Um, the first time I got interrupted was in the final session of the Sonic story, where my cat decided it was a good idea to keep running over every part of my computer and stuff like that while I was recording. The second part was uh, my mom decided to barge in my room and basically make me pause for two hours because um, she... I don't remember what it was. I think she needed my laptop for something. My laptop, even though she has her own. I, I don't get it either. No, no, no. It was because I was trying to explain something to her about her laptop. And I'm just... And, you know, that's what sucks about um, being a person who grew up with technology. You know way too much about it. And your family never leaves you the hell alone. <laughs> uh, anyway... <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was what happened. Um, so, Sonic Heroes, again, it's not gonna be, it's not, it's not as far back on the back burner as Persona 4 Golden, because that's gonna happen sooner or later, maybe le next year, maybe later this year, you know, who knows. Uh, I'm also kind of sonic out, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I've not been playing a lot of Sonic, but, you know, I've, I mean, I've done two Sonic Let's Plays in one year, um, so I think I kind of need to take a break from Sonic for a little bit. So yeah. Um, so, with that said, um, the other reason I just haven't been uploading anything in terms of actual Let's Plays, I've been busy. Okay, in all-out honesty, I thought that this summer would be the summer I could record shit, because I know I got an easier job, I have a consistent schedule now, nope. <laughs> and I'm not blaming my job on this, I love my job, actually, I think my job is fantastic, it's great, it's a nice experience, it's... You know, I, I stay outside all day, um, you know, pu putting asphalt in a trail and putting ceiling over it now. And, you know, I get to listen to audiobooks and podcasts and music all on my own, and it feels nice. Um, in fact, if you looked at me right now, I'm pretty sure I'm darker. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, when I get home, I am so tired, I don't even think about recording. I just, like, sit down on in this chair I'm sitting in, maybe play some Final Fantasy, maybe edit some stupid shit, um, or just watch TV off of my big TV and just sit here like an idiot for, like, two hours and go to bed. So, yes. Um, and my weekends are not much better. Um, my weekends are more random now for some reason. Um, like, you know, with everything opening back up, I've kind of felt like I needed to go out more. Like, I've been going out to see movies a lot lately. Like, I have gone to see Black Widow. I've seen Black Widow twice already. I have I went to go see Snake Eyes last weekend, which I th which both movies I thought were great. And I'm planning on going to see Suicide Squad. And, um, what was that other movie I really was looking forward to? Uh, Shang-Chi, or Shang-Chi, however you pronounce it. Uh, sorry if I... Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of movies I look forward to seeing this year, you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, so in terms of the schedule, I'm going to try my best starting this weekend to get back on something consistent. I'm going to try. I'm, don't quote me on anything. <laughs> what was that? You're already quoting me? Fuck. Um, so yeah. Um, when I do return, it will be with Assassin's Creed 2, um, because... I've been wanting to play Assassin's Creed 2 for a long time now. Um, actually, that was going to be the Let's Play I was going to finish after... I was going to do after Sonic Heroes. Um, but guess what? Uh, it's after Sonic Heroes now, so congratulations. Uh, so, uh, finally, we're going to be getting into the Ezio trilogy of Assassin's Creed. Uh, two of which are my personal favorite of the series. Uh, not my personal favorite. Uh, like My top five. Um, because Assassin's Creed 3 is my number one pick of Assassin's Creed don't at me. I mean, if you got a problem with it, deal with it. I love, I love Connor Kenway. I love the American Revolution. It's one of my favorite historical periods. So shut it. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but I'm not gonna promise anything in terms of a schedule because I'm actually really close to starting school back up. Um, and this year is gonna be a lot busier because uh, I'm gonna be juggling both um, classes. My current job um, in the mornings and afternoons, so that's not going to be much of a problem. But I'm also um, a the copywriter of my school's literary journal and the radio director at my school. Meaning, I've got a lot on my plate. Um, so, I'm not going to promise anything because I already know my Sunday evenings are going to be busy. 
Um, but if I do ever, and my Saturdays are usually dedicated to errands. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. So, um, for now though, I'm just going to continue with Monday through Friday stuff. Um, and then eventually I will bring back story driven Sundays. Now persona dancing, as I mentioned before, I'm a little persona out. So that is also going to be put on halt, um, until further notice. Um, so I'm going to say, I mean, technically I've already finished Persona 3 Dancing. The only thing I have left is the DLC characters and, uh, Makoto Yuki. So I have, I guess I'm not finished. Um, so like two more, three more parts and it's over. So that'll probably be finished by the end of the year. Not sure when it'll probably be uploaded at random times. Maybe not even Saturdays. <laughs> um, so I will get those. I will do those sometime this year. Um, but Persona 5 Dancing, that's gonna wait. Uh, especially because I don't really like Persona 5 Dancing's soundtrack that much. Um, I mean, it has some good tunes on there. Like, I do like the remix of Last Surprise and, um, Beneath the Mask. But, like, do we really need... Did they really have to do three fucking remixes of Last Surprise? I mean, technically two, but still, it's three different versions of Last Surprise! I love that song, but Jesus Christ, you could have waited. <laughs> Gotta make money somehow, I guess, Atlas. If they release a royal version of Persona 5 Dancing, I'm out. I'm done. <gasps> anyway, um, so yeah, and, and I'm going to continue Detroit Become Human, obviously. I'm going to finish that up as soon as I can, because uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, the chapter I left off on was a Marcus chapter. Like, I think it was the, it was, he was about to plan the raid of the, um, the tower, I might be wrong on that, it's been a while, so, I'll have to look at the file, I mean, I'll find out, I'll be surprised if I'm farther than I expected, so yeah, I got a lot going on in terms of Monday through Fridays, I'll be coming back slowly, um, so let's actually continue on to the other topic of discussion here, uh, Zanillion Primordial Chronicles Part 1, Radiant Artifacts, yada, 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 you know, longest name ever, I know. Uh, I just call it ZPC. Um, I am still working on it, very on and off, because um, I have a bit of a structure when I work. Um, I am still in the process of making, of databasing all of the characters. In fact, I actually had to eliminate two character, a uh, couple of characters from the story, because I just felt like they didn't fit anywhere um i won't tell you who they are because you technically never met they haven't been introduced formally yet so um i think they're in the title screen i'm not going to tell you which ones but two characters are no longer going to be a part of the game um mainly because they just don't fit anywhere in the story that i liked them to um i like their con like so basically they were uh, i guess i can give away their pl their plot because originally this was going to be their intention um, I was originally going to have it to be twins who were, um, hellbent on killing Zinn, similar to everybody else, um, and eventually they would join the Luceris assassins, and, um, that's really all they that's really all i had in mind for them for this game for one of them i actually had in mind for them to become the rival character to zanillion and kind of have be like the goro akechi i guess where they end up betraying them in the second part uh in the second game if that ever comes to fruition anytime soon so that was my plan but I changed it because I was like, eh, that just kind of seems out of nowhere, and I didn't really. And honestly, every when when I was reading the scripts because I'm reformatting the scripts right now, I was like, I forgot these guys existed, and that's kind of bad as a writer. That's kind of bad if you forget your own characters exist. Like I remember everybody else, but um, those two I always forget they existed. So my bad. So yep, yeah, those characters are no longer around. Um, I guess I technically gave away which ones it is because I mentioned that they're twins. Um, so I guess just look for the characters that look almost the same um, in the title screen. If you can figure out who it is, um, I will be legitimately surprised. Um, I won't be actually. But like, I, a few of you probably, a few of my personal friends may know who it is. Um, but like, yeah. Um, but I, but my structure when I work on the game 
is I basically go I first do Scrivener and restructure and re um, format the chapter and then go back into RPG Maker, database the character that was introduced in said chapter in the next chapter in the next chapter, and then go back and reformat their chap that chapter. So I am currently on chapter seven? No, I am nowhere near that. I think chapter five. I have to... Um, hold on. I gotta... Uh, hold on. Prologue, Exile, Vengeance. Chapter 5? Chapter 5. That sounds about right. So, chapter 5, and I believe there are... Nine chapters... If I remember correctly. And that's not even including, like, all the side content I plan on doing. Like, I plan on doing, like, side uh, character side quests, like, where each of the main character, each of the party members have, like, a dedicated side quest um, to where after a while um, you will actually earn perks to your party for that member. So, like, um, the first party member you obtain... You know, if you do their support, if you do their quest with them. It's like a mini story, too. It's like a side story that, like, basically Zanillion and that character are a part of. And, you know, it, and you can actually, I actually plan on having, like, choices uh, to where, depending on which ones you choose, um, it could actually influence their that character's, is like, ending text and, like, their relationship at the end of the game. It won't be, like, anything big. Like, it won't be, like, carrying over to other games as much as, that, as cool as that be. I don't know how to do that yet. I don't know how to do that, so... Um, and then I also plan on doing, like, regular side quests with non-playable characters and, um, stuff like that. And, um, I also do, I'm also, like, thinking of doing a side story. Uh, this is actually another thing I'm, I'm not sure about. I don't know if I want to do a separate game for the villain's story or if I just want to do the same game, just put it in, like, a side menu deal and have you unlock it at the end of the game, I'm still trying to figure that out. Because uh, I originally was going to have it, like, a chapter unlocks as you play the game. But at the same time, that would have there were certain things that spoil later reveals, and I didn't want to do that. So I'll think about that. Um, that's a problem that, that's a bridge I will cross in like a year, <laughs> assuming I keep working as hard as I am. Uh, but I am at hard at work. Um, um, I mean, really on and off again, it's similar to, uh, recording, you know, I get home too tired to work. So I just kind of lay there. Um, in fact, I need to go through, let me do this, uh, cause I print it. I like to print out, I Okay, sorry about that. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Anyway, I like to print out the um, script for myself, and I plan on annotating through it, and I have not done that, and that is, and it is, that is the first four chapters, I believe. Hold up. Uh, where are you? Oh uh, yeah, some of these chapters are long as shit. I forgot that some of the chapters are like 200 pages by themselves. Uh, first three chapters. Yes, first three. First three chapters. These are the first three chapters. Okay, well, technically the prologue's in there too. So four chapters of printed paper. And that, uh, and that was like, what, 400 pages? Uh, so yeah, uh, I plan on annotating through that sometime soon-ish and getting, um, and stuff like that. Trying to, whatchamacallit, you know, just get a feeling, because uh, there is some still minor things I'm planning on, like, fixing. You know, just give get myself a little bit of a feeling. And I also like having it when I type out the dialogue and on um, RPG Maker and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, I do have a video planned for um, ZPC coming soon. I'm kind of working on it on and off here. It's like another gameplay demo where, instead, where I kind of, I feel like I haven't really made anything clear on purpose. Um, like, I've shown off Blitz moves, I've shown off, uh, artifact arts and stuff like that. I've showed off a lot of gameplay for the character. 
uh, for Zanillion and a couple other characters, but I haven't really, like, given an explanation of how the game works in terms of, like, class system and stuff like that, so I think I'm going to make a video about that really soon, give a little bit of a comprehensive overview of it, you know, not really go deep into it um, for the sake of, you know, just not ruining anything, um, you know, just kind of give a sense of what to expect and how simple it may be or maybe complicated. I don't know. I don't think it's complicated. I try to make it as simple as possible because, you know, I know a lot of people who are, I know a lot of friends who are interested in this and they have never played a video game in their life. I'm talking to you, Mateo. <laughs> um, and, um, stuff like that. So, yeah, again, bear with me on that. Uh, that will be soonish. I'll be working on that. Uh, okay. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to approach that kind of thing. So, yeah. So that's it for ZPC. Um, the next thing I was thinking about is... Um, I mentioned that I am radio director. And I also did mention the fact that I, do have a, I did have a radio show last semester... Um, and I've been meaning to upload the recording. I was gonna, I was planning on uploading the recordings, and a couple of people have been asking me, what the fuck's going on with that? Uh, I don't know how to answer that, honestly. <laughs> um, I may not do it for this show, because of, well, let's just say I had a lot of technical problems with it. Um, you know. And I just, I mean, I still have the recordings on a, fla on a flash drive, so, I mean, if enough people bother me to upload it, I will. Um, I'm not sure if I should do, like, one, sh like, one show upload a week or something, or something like that. Maybe do it when I'm doing Sonic Heroes or something. Um, maybe replace the Persona dancing shit. <laughs> but, like... I also did, I am also changing the radio show from originally, it was, called, it was originally called Gamer Talk, which is cringe in, ha in hindsight, but um, I'm changing it now to not being just exclusively about video games, but pop culture in general, so like, it will be like called Pop Culture and Coffee, um, and stuff like that, but like, uh, what was I saying? Ah, uh, fuck, I just lost my train of mind, eh. but like, I'd be talking about pop culture in general, like... You know, with, with what I did for the video game show, I had it themed weeks. So, like, it, it would be, like, RPG week, and, like, one day I talked about Final Fantasy, another week, day I talked about uh, Fire Emblem, and another week I talked about Persona, or Shin Megami Tensei slash Persona in general. Um, I think that was what it was. I don't remember. Um, but, you know, instead of that this week, instead of that on this show, you know, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't do, like, I would do, like, um, so, one example I brought up with a, one of my co-workers today, uh, the other day was, I would do a Star Wars week, and I would do, like, Star Wars movies slash TV shows on the first day, and then Star Wars books, comic books, stuff like that on the next day, and then on the final day, I would do Star Wars video games, or, you know, reverse that order, I mean, it just didn't matter. You know, I would talk, and I would talk about my personal experiences with that kind of stuff, because right now I'm actually reading a lot of Star Wars stuff. Uh, I'm currently reading the Darth Plagueis um, novel. I actually, I've actually been trying to read a little bit more, so I actually do have a, a few Star Wars books. Um, I have Darth Revan, or yeah, Revan, Kenobi, and um, what was it? Who is that? Uh, Star Killer uh, Legends books. So I'm trying to read a little bit more. I also uh, got an Audible subscription. Hashtag not sponsored. And I'm listening to Darth Plagueis, because uh, uh, it just feels... It, it, I, I'm trying to, you know, read a little bit more, or, you know, just do something other than listen to music on my headphones all the time. I guess stimulate my mind a little bit, because uh, I just I feel like I don't do that enough. Anyway, um, I just feel like I don't do that as much as I should, so I'm trying to do that when I'm at work. I've also been planning on listening to podcasts too, but I don't really listen to many podcasts. I don't. I've never really been a fan of podcasts. Yet, technically, a radio show is like a pseudo podcast. But whatever. <laughs> what the fuck ever, Caleb? Just shut your mouth. I mean, I think the only one I'm like really interested in is Trevor Wallace's podcast and um, Markiplier's new one. But it's not about that. Anyway, 
Um, so, I'm not sure what to do about that, the radio show recordings. I'm still going to decide on that at a later time. Um, maybe have enough people bother me, and I'll make that decision forcefully. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I really apologize for the lack of anything I've been doing, because I've just been really busy. I've also just, like, wanted to sit down and play games for myself. You know, I was been playing Metal Gear Rising, Revengeance, uh, Final Fantasy XIII, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, um... I've also been replaying some Metroid games because I can't wait for Metroid Dread, baby! Yeah, I kind of—I I was actually really wanting to do a reaction, you know, just like like a joke video where I'm just screaming "Holy shit!" for five minutes straight for Metroid Dread. But I was like, "Yeah, that just seems stupid." I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys could predict my reaction to Metroid Dread. Um, it was freaking out because when I found I was watching E3 in real time at work. Okay, listening to it. And I heard, and I saw Metroid Dread, I was fucking, I was hyped. Like, it wasn't Metroid Prime 4 news, but Metroid, a 2D Metroid game that takes place after Fusion, even better. Um, anyway. So yeah, I think that's really all there is to this video. Um. Oh, shit. Um, this was, this is something that I don't even know if I should do. Um, if enough people support me on this decision, I might consider it. Um, this was something a friend of mine and I were talking about on and off a couple weeks ago, uh, cause, yeah, recently my friend has no, my friend has been pointing, a friend of mine has been pointing out that gaming journalism in terms of reviewing games is just kinda like, not, it, it just not as good as it should be, you know, they say, you know, they want they only care about the money you know IGN and shit like that and 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 they say and my friends like some game reviewers only care about money when it comes to reviewing games and shit like that and they're completely biased when they do it like last of us part two they consider that a great game when the story is abysmal and they don't even acknowledge that or um stuff like that or they give certain games um such a low score even though it was severely, it de deserves a higher score. Like, I think they get, like, I remember, like, IGN giving one of the Pokemon, I think it was the Gen 3 remakes, like a 7, and one of the reasons was because of too much water. And this is coming from someone who doesn't really like Pokemon. I don't hate Pokemon. I just think that it's not as fun. I don't really like it anymore. I just, Put it, giving it a seven, and one of your cons being too much water on the Pokemon game, with the one of the legendaries being themed around water, doesn't make sense. So my friend has been asking if I should, uh, if I would be willing to jump into the game review world, in terms of uploading videos for that. You know, maybe doing a review every couple of weeks or something like that of games I really love and newer games and shit like that. Um, it would probably be. I mean. I, I, I don't really think there's a point. I, for me personally, I don't want, I don't necessarily see the point with how little people give a fuck about me. <laughs> um, but um, I, okay, I get it. My phone. I, I, I'm about to rip that out. Honestly, uh, I, with how little people give a shit about me. Um, but. If I were to do it, I would, I guess, if enough people ask. Um, it would probably, I mean, if the first game I review would probably be something simple, to be honest with you. It would probably be like fucking, I don't know, Fire Emblem Warriors or something. Um, something simple. Um, maybe even Devil May Cry. I don't know. Um, but I, I just think that I shouldn't do that since there's already so many reviewers out there that would probably, that could do it better, that do it better than me, and I don't even try yet, um, you know, like, some call me Johnny and stuff like that, but, you know, if enough people ask, like, friends, I might do it, um, so yeah, um, I think that's really all I got for this video, um, uh, okay, shut up, uh, that, not you, my watch, um, it's telling me to breathe, I know how to breathe. I think. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, again, thank you guys for sitting through this really long, drawn-out video of me rambling on like a utter moron and 
not remembering anything. Um, you know, again, bother me about the things I mentioned. Um, stuff like that. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time for whatever I do next. Um, and uh, take care.